have any idea who this man is? This is an, as an artist? No, I don't know. Nothing. An artist? No. He's <laughs> a politician here I in Greece. Here. Okay, yeah. this is my first time in Greece. Do you know this man? Uh, no. No, not at all? No, I do Not at all? I have no clue, but he looks very serious. This man? Ah, uh, Tsipras. And what is his name? Uh, Tsipras. Uh, Alex, Alexis Tsipras. Um, this is Alexis Tsipras, the leader of the Syriza party. For the first time, political parties have already put forward their candidate to head the EU Commission, which will be elected once the new parliament is in place. Today, we take a look at this candidate. Alexis Tsipras is the European left's candidate for the presidency of the European Commission. Born and raised in Athens, Tsipras is no stranger to politics. At 17 years old and a member of the Communist Youth Party, he led the student sit-ins in the early 90s against education reforms. Extremely private about his personal life, he's been with his girlfriend since high school and they have two sons. Little known outside Greece, just two years ago, Tsipras shot to political fame when his party, the radical left Syriza, won the second highest number of votes in the 2012 elections. His supporters, those who'd suffered most from the financial crisis and austerity plan, which has brought Greece to its economic knees over the past four years. Frustrated and angry, they saw hope in Tsipras. But unable to form a government, Tsipras is now head of the Greek opposition and a tireless campaigner to end austerity. But can he succeed? To find out more about this candidate for the presidency of the European Commission, we joined Tsipras and his campaign team as he prepared for his next campaign stop. One of many, not only for the European elections, but also for Greece's municipal ones. Both take place in May. First stop, the island of Syros. Not a lot of time for the press right now as he gets ready for his next speech. It's a speech with a common thread, one which blames the EU, but especially the Troika and Greek governments for a bailout austerity plan of salary cuts and increased taxes. Here, a touch of irony in his speech hits home with local voters. We have to congratulate this government and the two previous governments for what they've done from 2010 to today because they've succeeded to eliminate the middle class in this country and to increase unemployment to 30% and to 60% for young people. And they succeeded to kick out 300,000 brilliant young scientists from our country and make them immigrants. From the Greek Communist Party to leader of the radical left, Tsipras has been an ardent critic of the neoliberal policies he warns the EU has adopted. But could he negotiate a radical change in Europe with the powers in Brussels? Those who know him say yes. So I remember when we, at some point, we formed a 10 members committee to uh, negotiate with the uh, then Minister of Education. And among the 10 members, you know, some of us were not really aware of what was going on. I mean, we had a bill of demands, but uh, we were not really in a position to negotiate. Alexis was in a position to negotiate, really negotiate, e even then, when he was 17. From a 17-year-old student leader to a rising political figure, Tsipras has had to make the adjustment. For many Greeks, he's a hero who will stop austerity's brutal side effects. For others, he's a danger to Greece's future in Europe. But either way, he's a public figure something not always easy, according to his former professor and friend. He, he likes simple life. He likes to ride the motorcycle and all that. But now, you know, being so well known, he cannot really do that, but at least often. That's why he likes very much to come to my place where it's really uh, quiet, so he can pass some, let's say, 10 days very quietly with his uh, family. Although he's had to give up his motorcycle for bodyguards, right now Alexis Tsipras is a man with a mission. To convince not only Greeks but Europeans that the European left party has an important role to play in shaping the EU's future. Tsipras says he's not anti-Europe, but that he wants to end austerity to bring back democracy to Brussels.
Είμαστε ιδιαίτερα ανήσυχοι από τα φαινόμενα We worry a lot about the increase of right-wing parties in Europe, of those parties that want the EU to be destroyed. And we worry as well about the constant attacks of the financial markets on Europe. And all this is the result of austerity. Austerity is not the solution. We can't get out of the crisis. Europe needs a new social contract, a new deal. A new deal for Europe. This is what the European Left Party hopes Tsipras can bring if he becomes president of the European Commission. But this economist claims Tsipras is more a political message than a real contender for the EU's top job. Greece is a country that suffered a great deal. The Greek people suffered a lot, so for the far left, for those who vote left in Europe, having a Greek candidate is very, very good. But it's true that Tsipras is very distant from Europe and especially far from what's going on with the crisis and how Europe has tried and is still fighting to get out of this crisis. He's not the same Tsipras that he was even two years ago or three years ago. He's been groomed, he's walked, into, he's walked to the hallways, he's talked with the leaders of Europe. He, he also is very close with the uh, entrepreneurs of the country, the private sector of the country. He's definitely left, but he's definitely not radical. There's little doubt that Tsipras has become a politician to watch out for. And with a strong showing in national opinion polls, many question whether he could be the next prime minister of Greece rather than the next president of the European Commission. <laughs> I think our political opponents in Europe would prefer to see me lead the EU Commission rather than the Greek government. Because they know that if there will be a true radical political change in Greece, it will be more difficult for the continuity of their political agenda in Europe. A radical change in Greece or even in Europe. On the 25th of May, Europe's voters will decide which way they want to go. That man would be very good if he's elected because Europe needs a change, because people are suffering. Yeah, we, we it's not believe, possible. <laughs> we believe we'll be a little bit dangerous in this time. Yes. We have to change because all these years we had new democracy and Pasok who did nothing. I hope he gets elected and does something because Greece deserves it.